Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media and in this quick video I would like to show real estate agents or other business owners how you can create a post on your Facebook business page wall, send it also on to Instagram on your account, as well as create a link that the consumer can click on Facebook and go directly to your website. In this example I'm going to use 10 photos that I have already sitting on my desktop so I know where they are and I already have the text prepared that I'm going to add in the post. So here I am on my wall. I want you all to make sure that your account actually has your name on it. You see where it says account? Your business account name, not your personal profile. This is why you should never use the same picture on your personal profile as you do on your business page. That way it'll be easier for you to recognize which is your business page from your personal profile. So I know I am on the business page. I want to create a post with 10 photos. I'm going to click on what's on your mind. Now because I also want to post to Instagram at the same time and I want to schedule this post to go out perhaps later today or tomorrow, I'm going to click on the Meta Business Suite. Now, as you can see, it's highlighted in blue text. That means it's a hyperlink. It's going to take me somewhere. So let's go ahead and click on this link. Also notice it says schedule your post for a planner in the Meta Business Suite. Let's go ahead and click on it. It's going to open up a window that we want to create in and that's why I'm going to click on the create button in the top right hand corner. You can also click on the plus sign and click on create a post. I preference the little blue create over here on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and click it. Now what you see is your canvas for creating your content. The first thing that I do is click this little half diamond and as a lot of you students know that have taken Catherine and my course, there's a lot of little dots and half diamonds on Facebook and Instagram that you need to learn to click to see what's hidden behind them. Let's go ahead and click that. And now we're going to click on Instagram because we want it to go on both our Facebook business page and our Instagram account. Now what you need to do to move on to the next step is you actually have to click outside of this box so it lifts up that box there and reveals the box that you click on add your photos or add your video. In this case like I told you I'm going to add 10 photos I click here and now I need to go in and I need to find those photos and add them I click on them all and open and they start to load. Now they might not load in the sequence that you actually want them to appear on your business page and if that is the case what you need to do once their load is is you need to drag and drop those photos. So while the photo is loading I'm going to copy the text from the listing and I'm going to come back to the business page and I'm going to drop it in where it says text. See how it says text right there? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop that text in and then I want to make sure that the text is lined up correct correctly. So what we want to do is add our text. So I stopped the video and I added all my text. I have the price, it's a new listing. I have the address for where the property is at. I've also added a link so people can click it and go directly to the website. And I just check all the spelling as you can see. Facebook underlines it in red when there's spelling errors, but it doesn't mean that those are actually spelling errors. So be careful there. And then make sure if you're going to add a hashtag on Facebook that you add that hashtag down at the bottom because I really don't want people clicking on it on Facebook because it will send them off of my Facebook business page, but it will help in the search 
on Facebook. So that's why I use it. And I'm only using one or two. At the end, I have the call to action so the consumer can pick up the phone and call me to get more information. And over here on the right is a preview of how this post is going to go out on my Facebook business page. Now when it goes out on Instagram, however, it doesn't look like how it looks right here. It reloads and it shows you that on Instagram, it's going to be like a carousel. There will only be one photo that's showing um, and then the other 10 will be behind it. However, it's not giving us that example right now. But regardless, that's called a carousel and you can have up to 10 photos also on your Instagram account. Now you just check to make sure the photos are all lined up how you want them and if you want to drag and drop them you just click on the photo and pull it up. Now I always like to put bathrooms not necessarily in the photos and bedrooms at the end. It's entirely up to you to look around and see in the center photo how it's going to present itself. So now I have a call to action. I have all my information. I'm going to click on the teardrop and I'm going to add the location of where this property is. Once you have that, you just click save. Now what we're going to do is scroll back up the page and make sure it's on Facebook and Instagram. And now you can go ahead and click on schedule the post. It will open up a scheduler for you for both Instagram and Facebook. Choose the time you want this post to go out and choose the date and make sure you do the same for Instagram. Once it's in Instagram, you can add your hashtags or you can edit it directly on your phone when it's published whenever you've scheduled it. So we're going to go ahead and click schedule and I'm going to have this go out for what time is it right now? It is almost two o'clock so we can have it go out at two o'clock and we click schedule the post. Now what I'm going to do is grab my hashtags so here we have the post on Facebook in the planner where it automatically took me after I scheduled it. I'm going to click on Instagram. It will open Instagram. There's the three little dots I'm looking for. We get and we click edit post. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add more hashtags because more hashtags, you know, 11 to 20, even 30 if you must. Can go on Instagram and now this post I'm going to save it and it is ready to go out on Instagram with all the hashtags and the post on Facebook is ready to go out as well and this is how in 2023 we now post on our Facebook business page using the meta business suite Facebook's new name as well as post on our Instagram account this is Heather remember everyone Keep it simple.